Hey, so that's the Aprilia SR150, uh, which should get launched by August. Uh, let's just take a look at the scooter first. It's uh, a sports scooter, and I have to say it's really aggressively styled. And it, uh, in the black, I really like it. And here's the white one. Here's the white one. Uh, it's a very clean, sharp set of lines, very Italian in that sense. Underneath is a chassis that I'm not sure because they have not revealed fully, but the engine is very similar to the Vespa 150 engine. It's tuned for a little bit more power, but it's geared more importantly for performance rather than uh, sedate city riding. Uh, cane power is about 11 PS, but the scooter is only 110 kilos, so it should be fairly quick. And I think uh, we've been waiting for the scooter segment to evolve and show a little bit more aggression. And I think the SR uh, is where it starts. Uh, the scooter is very similar to the one that goes to Europe. There are minor changes for India. Just to give you an example, check out the foot pegs. These fold in and make a very neat profile. But in uh, Italy, you'd get a molded peg here that would normally basically sit here sort of like that. So that's one of the small changes that Aprilia has made. In fact, the changes are being still made, which is why I've uh, been told that the 110 is an approximate weight figure, not final. That's what the meters look like. So, um, as you know, Overdrive has been doing uh, scooter tests at racetracks, uh, at uh, go kart tracks, and we've always had a fantastic time with them. So, this is a scooter that we cannot wait to ride at the track. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Aprilia SR 150. Keep an eye on it. It is out in August. We don't know the prices yet, but it will be expensive. My guess is about a lack of rupees. Uh, it's got a front disc. Uh, so, the specification is good, and uh, we just can't wait to ride it.